Hi, I'm Jen with Vancouver Island Car Seat Techs and I'm going to give you a bit of an overview on the Kleck Ling. I'm in my 2012 Odyssey on the captain's seat. There's lots of room in here, uh, but I'm happy to report that this seat also installs really well in more compact cars and is one of the most compact seats front to back that we have available in Canada. So this seat has a few um, interesting features. We have a load leg, which when you can use it, please do. It offers a lot of extra added safety. Um, we're going to adjust it later, but before we get going, I need to have it flipped out in this position. Uh, this seat has rigid UAS, so it is quite simple to extend both pieces. They move independently. You want to extend them all the way so that when you go to click it onto your, your lower anchors in your vehicle, you can push on and they don't slide in on you. Those click on really easily. There's a little indicator in here. Um, where are we? Right here that shows green, that means that they are in fact um, connected, uh, but we've got a lot of space here, so we need to move that in. So a couple ways you can do that, you can do it one at a time, you can do uh, both together. I like to use my knee, so I have good balance here and I can guide the whole thing in. Once it's making contact with the vehicle, then I wanna actually sort of walk it in until it's making, until it's compressing the vehicle seat. I don't need to um, overdo it though. Once it's making that that contact uh, and it's compressed a bit, good enough. I'm going to double check that the indicator over here is green and the same on both sides, and it is. So we're good to go there. Um, now I'm going to adjust the load leg. So it adjusts quite easily. I have um, a filthy, dirty winter car mat in here. Um, sometimes mats cause problems. If you are not getting the green indicator, which you probably can't see from here, but I'll pop a picture up, um, then you need to make some adjustments. But Kleck wants you to have firm contact with the floor um, without lifting this edge of the base up very far. So the load leg itself is straight up and down. The indicator is green. That's it for the base installation. Now, this is a really slick um, thing that is my favorite part of this seat. I adjust the recline after I install the car seat. So if I could get the camera over here a little bit to zoom in on this spot. So it is a weight-based indicator. It's important to be parked on flat ground when we're doing this, but the base is already installed and the recline adjusts after the fact based on the size of your child. There are seven positions and with a newborn, we want it as reclined as possible but still in that allowable range. So the manual that I read carefully before installing this seat indicates some part of the bubble is in the necessary range. And I want it to be, I'm gonna want it to be as reclined as I can be for a newborn especially. So I would choose this position right here. So this is a game changer for me right here. If you could back the camera up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Thank you. So this whole piece just rotates back and forth. My installation does not change, and this recline sled here moves back and forth, and I'm gonna lock it into whatever position I need. And the carrier docks on, just like that. Very compact front to back. Handle is up when we're driving. Um, as my baby grows, I, will, I don't have to uninstall this, the base. I can just change that recline as we go. So this is the most reclined. I'm parked on flat ground for a child, a newborn. What it looks like to release the carrier is a two-step um, two system right there. My baby was older. Let's say the heaviest, which is up to 35 pounds. And you can see that the carrier itself sits a little more upright this way. So the Kleck Ling base, although it has these lovely uh, rigid UAS connectors, sometimes you might want to install in a position in your vehicle that doesn't have lower anchors, or maybe it's not working the geometry for some reason. It also has a really easy to use seatbelt installation method. So um, this whole panel right here comes forward. I will of course have checked my vehicle manual and my car seat manual carefully to make sure that I am following instructions. This is not meant to replace either of those manuals. I am not going to tighten this belt very much because I'm going to let this do the work for me. I'm going to bring it forward, click it down. I want to make sure that the indicator windows here are green as well, showing that it's locked, and give it a little tug front uh, side to side, front to back. 
I've got less than an inch of movement. And then I'm going to look at my load leg position, which works the same way for lower anchors. I want to make sure it's fully locked in to position, but not longer than necessary. My fingers are getting cold out here. There we go. It's probably lifting up a little bit more than I need it to. Um, there we go. Indicator is green. It's in position. Sometimes, as I mentioned, floor mats can cause problems. So that would be the first thing I would take out if I was having trouble getting the load leg to show green at the position, the length that I wanted it to be. And then my last step is adjusting the recline mechanism. So just as for uh, lower anchor installation, I install first and then I adjust my recline after the fact, depending on the weight of my child.